Hi guys, how are you doing? It's Elaine Bint, Certified Health Coach and Personal Trainer. It's Friday, January 24th, uh, the last Friday of this challenge. Uh, I hope everybody is doing great and I hope you've been having a good week. Um, so a topic of conversation I've been having with a lot of people is in regards to sleep. Um, so yes, we definitely want to make sure that we are getting good, high quality sleep where you are falling into a deep sleep. Um, so I know everybody's life circumstances are different. I have clients I work with that work first shift, second shift, uh, third shift. Some of my clients work a split shift or they work in different locations. Um, so depending on the day and depending on the time of the day and depending on the time of the year, they might be traveling, they might be more local, they might be downtown Chicago, they might be at their home office, they might be working with clients. Um, so sleep can definitely get disrupted um, by just everyday life, not just related to work. Um, most of you know that I am a mom and I'm probably um, the pot calling the kettle black. Um, but yes, you, you definitely wanna get good sleep. So ideally, ideally, you, you would know your own body. You would know if your body needs a solid six hours of sleep, or some clients tell me they need a solid nine hours of sleep. Um, so I definitely am not the spokesperson for getting the best high quality sleep on a consistent basis, um, but definitely I do try to sleep in when I can, and it is a myth. You can't actually like catch up on sleep, um, but you can't, the reverse is true. If you don't get enough sleep, uh, you can get sick, you can get injured, you could get overly tired, um, um, you could lose your ability to do fine motor activity. So depending on what you do for a living, um, some of my clients I know they do have 24 hour shifts. Um, you know, some of my clients are, you know, a firefighter, paramedics, um, and some of them do different jobs where they just have to be on call 24 hours a day. Um, so it's, it's really hard for them to actually get the sleep they need. Um, but what are some of the benefits of getting high quality sleep? So let's say for example, you're trying to get even 15 minutes more sleep. So maybe you're going to bed 15 minutes earlier or you're just letting yourself sleep in 15 minutes later in the morning. Uh, one is it does help reduce anxiety. So if you are somebody who you tend to um, have some anxiety, uh, getting high quality sleep where you sleep throughout the night and you're not keep, uh, keep waking up, having to go to the bathroom, uh, getting disrupted sleep, it does help reduce anxiety. Um, also, it does help with weight loss. So if you are getting good sleep, and again, you know what good sleep means for your own body. So maybe you need six and a half hours or, or seven and a quarter, you know, seven and a quarter hours of sleep. Um, it does help with all of our rhythms in our body, um, our wake and sleep cycle. It helps regulate our metabolism. So ev everything that is related to having optimal functioning, oftentimes if you are not getting enough sleep, say you're only getting three or four hours of sleep, and depending on where you are, I know a lot of my clients who have newborns or who have gone through the cycle of having a newborn for a year or so, their sleep cycle is completely disrupted. Um, it, it definitely can make you gain weight. Um, so if you do have control and you have the ability to try to get better quality sleep, I highly suggest you get more sleep. Um, so it's Friday, if you're not working tomorrow, if you have the ability, you know, try sleeping in 15, 20 minutes. Uh, I know some people who've been in a career, you know, where they've been waking up 20 years at, you know, 4 a.m. every day. It's hard to get out of that habit even on the weekends. Um, but personally, if I can even sleep into 5.30 or 6 a.m. on the weekends, um, that's a major win for me. And I feel a lot better than on the weekend days. Um, so please keep posting your healthy decisions. You guys are doing great. I hope everybody has a great weekend and I hope you get the sleep you need. All right, thanks guys. Have a great day. Bye.